suspicion. We'll go back and do this. Yes, yes, nobody finishes Atlas game. That's the joke. All right. Mutation. Here we go. I don't think I have that stamina cup up. Let alone to do it on stream. Like, if that's what people really wanted, sure, why not? But, wow. I'd want, I just don't want people to get fatigued off of it. Big anime opening. For timing that, you little shit. Actually, let's look at the manual to find out what we're supposed to do. I guess I'm going to have to pull down the gates anyway. Let's see. Wait a minute, what the fuck? There's a Lupin the Third PlayStation 2 game advertised on the back of this. Uh, yes, Kappa, last year, in fact, we actually played through Silent Hill 1 through 4. I'm planning on either Fatal Frame or Resident Evil this, this, uh, this year. We did have a mild palate cleanser in between with Medieval, though. New Fatal Frame. It's underrated. Well, I'll be able to... I tech, I bought it on PlayStation 2, but technically I'll be able to be uh, quit and play it on my actual PlayStation 2. Yeah, do it. Let's see here. If I do, if I have an existing save. I can't believe they have getting started to turn how, how to turn your fucking console. People that square brained?
I need to take a shower soon. I thought you were gonna say it for a moment. I'm not gonna say that on stream. <laughs> That's what my if brain was... thought you were gonna say, though. If, if I was going to do that, I'd probably make some like weird illusion and pun. Ninety day limited warranty for the discs. What the fuck? Come on, you basic cheap ass bitches. Oh, by the way, I, I found out that my copy of Pokemon uh, Coliseum is worth a hundred and eighty dollars. I have two of those. Yeah. I also, I looked through my collection. And apparently, I don't have Gale of Darkness. Which is two hundred dollars. Fun. I uh, want Gale of Darkness bad. I'll be honest. Huh? I'll be honest. Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon Gale of Darkness are the best Pokemon games in terms of being like the the RPGs. Yes, they're the best RPG. Yeah. Like, I have a soft spot for, like, if, if we're talking about, like, the four-move traditional Pokemon gameplay, they're the best. Um, there's other really good Pokemon games, though, like Mystery Dungeon. But there out of, good. like, out of all of the Pokemon games that have the, the quote-unquote traditional gameplay, it's the best. The what are you doing now? Mutation, the next game. Oh, and you can import data from your His previous game? Orca yep. Fell into a deep nice. coma as a result of Skate's I'll be right data back. drain. I'm gonna take that shower. The world isn't just an online game. Something with another purpose is lurking within it. The Book of Twilight, handed to him by the girl Aura, transformed into a bracelet, giving him two extraordinary powers. Data Drain, the power to alter monster data. And Gate Hacking which allows him to gain entrance into protected areas. And it was these very same powers that put Orca into a coma. I want to help Orca. With the help of the bracelet, he and his party succeeded in destroying Skaith. However... We had come so far, but we knew so little. And now, the true battle was about to begin. The system of the world has been updated to version 2.9. With this update, 
The following feature has been added. Flag race. You can now enjoy flag race within the town with the grunty who have raised. For more details, please see the version update listed on the board. Thought once we got the thing with the red wand, everything would be solved. It was baseless, but I thought everything would be back to normal. What did we do? What was that? What was what we did, right? Not wrong, right? No point being negative about it. Let's just believe in ourselves. I didn't know they had monsters like that. Let's play again. <laughs> Fuck, Mistral. <laughs> That's great. News. Soulnet dominates the network. Recent sales figures show that Soulnet now controls 58.7 of domestic network user market. Analysts theorize this stems from the low fees Soulnet charges compared to its rivals, and the onward going network communication monopoly. Critics allege these fees will rise dramatically once Soulnet share reaches 60%. Checks out. Game Coma Impossible, says Professor. Daisuke Maniochi, a professor at Tokyo Technical University who specializes in brain function, stated recently he believes there is no possibility that playing games can induce a comatose state in its players. The famous scientist scoffed at the notion, calling some claims incredible exaggeration. Some have suggested these incidents are related to the worst computer virus in history, Deadly Flash, which affected millions and resulted in seven deaths back in 2003. Following the prominent scientist's statements, some have expressed relief on the issue and said they plan to return to the world. At Makino Hospital in Kanazawa City, a patient who fell comatose is still hospitalized in stable condition. According to hospital chief, they are no closer to determining the cause though some speculate his condition could be genetic. International Geographic Discontinued International Geographic, the world-famous magazine which began publication in 1911, announced it will cease operations following next month's issue. Industry folk and writers immediately expressed sadness and disappointment over the news. The magazine, which during its best year sold one million copies a month, will publish its last volume, just short of its 100th anniversary. Readership has steadily declined during the past decade. Sales recently dropped to as low as 20,000 to 30,000 per month. Play Road, the famous gentleman's magazine, established over 50 years ago, also recently closed its doors. As subscribers increasingly turn online for their information, the print industry has struggled to maintain sales and advertising revenues. It's believed the International Geographic announcement is only the beginning of an industry-wide downturn in print media. That sounds mildly prophetic. And there's a cock tease right at the top. Tail Concerto 2. I fucking wish that had happened, but it never did. Uh, I'm still salty about that. Dating save data.
34 hours we've played so far with this. I'm too worried about Gonta. It appears there have been some weird problems ever since the last server problem. I wonder what's up. Some people say it's a virus. Eyes oh, by Jane. My computer froze and I logged back in, but it looked totally weird. It wasn't normal. There was a noise on the screen. There was this really loud sound. Did this ever happen to anyone or just me? Wasn't it like a scream? I heard it too. I thought my computer just went bust. Glad I'm not the only one. Told you. That like really bad. Watch, bro. There's been a lot of problems lately, especially with what happened the other day. This time around, they should have some kind of response. From Mad Max. <laughs> Some other people's PPs had that noise too. I wonder if it had something to do with the soundboard on the system. Mine came with it. Black Dot. That's beside the point. Ah, my PC had that sound as well. The noise as well. I thought it broke. How a virus can be caused? I wonder what's going on. Better not, better not have to reformat my hard drive or there'll be bloodshed. I think we've all felt that mood. Virus. Still do. Pilot of the new god, the class. Ojiru Manabu. I recall three years between Pluto's kiss and the time they moved everything to Ultimate when the regular network was restricted. I guess they wanted some cool name for the net culture that ballooned in the end of the last century. European, like, Europeans like the liberal arts-ish ways of explaining. Pluto's kiss was bad. It was like a countdown to the end of the world. I mean, the Pentagon's host computer was hit. Missiles were about to go off, right? Gee, a ten-year-old kid who did it? Very concerned now. I'm against reform. You can't say it's just a computer virus did die from it. We know the dangers of cyber-terrorism from Pluto's kiss and Deadly Flash. Against... Okay. Happens. Perform it or not. Ultimate is the perfect OS, right? You don't have to worry about cyber-terrorism or a computer virus. <laughs> Anything that's man-made can be taken apart by man. National Geographic Convention. Is it the Times? A hundred year old liberal arts magazine. But I didn't know about it at all. I guess it's the Times. You can you can get comics online as well. My dad saw was solemnly listening to the news. Apparently he was a liberal arts major and wanted to become an author. That was a side of my dad I'd never seen before.
Not interested in the flag race. Island City Dunloreg. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, let's go. We are going to the dungeon of Theta, chosen hopeless nothingness, to find out what happened. It feels icky leaving it hanging like this. My name's Johnny. I'll die if I stop talking to me. All right, I guess we're going to try going down into that dungeon again. No flash mail response. Yeah, I figured I'd try it anyway. No response. Are any of them active? Or is it meant to just push me to do it without it? Okay! Apparently I can't get anyone else in my party. If you adore me, of course you will give me something great. Me? That is so weird. Guess I have to go back in. The bracelet, it's not shining.
Okay, now I use Drain Arc. Who all? You know, I have Hummus and Peter. Oh, it's cake. Not as tasty as Avali's. Oh, it gave me the ability to drain multiple enemies. Oh. That's cool. Mocha's being cute in your chat. You won? I said Mocha's being cute in your chat. Cute emotes. Yeah. By the way, in case anyone didn't already see it, we do have a Discord community here. I'm gonna go ahead and just post that there. In case anybody needs. It's the cute emote contest, isn't it? I have a lot of cute emotes. <sighs> I still think this one's pretty darn cute. I admit, I have a streamer whose emotes I use a lot. Because I have a lot of, like, you know, like the feminine urge to, like, wiggle. And I just, like, I did just end up using Diva's emotes fucking constantly. Oh, she does have fun emotes, doesn't she? Yeah. Go for getting cozy. And then sometimes you just have to... Sometimes I get so trans it just comes out. Hey, <laughs> hey Boxer, use water gun! <laughs> I kind of like uh, um, Rose's sword. Get a load of that thing. Like this glyphic edge on the inside of it, and then a uh, edge around it. Oh. I think it's cool. Is it weird to say if? I could get a sword in IRL, like, somebody, like, make it for me. I would want a usably sized dragon slayer. So you want a human warrior proportion one. Yeah, so, like, uh, thinner no blade. Enemies. But, like, I love the crossguard design. I like how, like, chonky it is, but, like, it's not super ornate. It kind of gives off this vibe of I'm going to spank you with a paddle more than I'm going to hit you with a sword. <laughs> uh, apparently the dungeon is just broken. Thing is still here. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder. I'm the one that's asking. Don't ask me, really. But if it was here, could we win? That's impossible. <laughs> I, mean, I guess I could 3D print one, yeah. I mean, I don't have a printer yet, but it's alright. Pretty print your scrams.
seems the game is definitely willing to fuck with its own mechanics to, for a narrative standpoint. Somebody were to give me a fucking Dragon Slayer. I'd be like, oh! Well, you can you can print tacos, but they might taste like shit. We're getting close to the um the food assemblers. Hey. What? Aren't you afraid? Who me? Hmm. I'm not afraid. No way. Well, all right, I am. I'm scared enough for the both of us. My controller is soaked with sweat. So what about you, huh? Yeah. To be honest, I'm terrified. But I can't let that stop me now. You're right. Amateur egg. I think we actually have dungeon crawlers like this in the yard now, don't we? I think so. They should make a hat game in VR, that'd be funny. That what they would call meta. <laughs> yep. As long as you have an option to turn off distortion effects like that, because that would make some people. Because that's not exactly easy on the eyes and the crap to your face. Oh no. Yeah, in Star Trek the original series, they didn't have replicators. Um, I'm pretty sure if you if we had a Sword Art Online uh, VR game, you'd get arrested by the FBI for playing it. Why's that? Hey. We're not going deeper than that. <laughs> oh, you mean the sussy? I'd ra I'd say dot hack probably. Okay. I haven't even seen Dot Hack, and it's probably better because it probably doesn't have the fucked up stuff in SAO. Huh? <laughs> what? What? <clears throat> hey, what did I tell you? That is rude. Really, really rude. Sorry, but that graphic on the wall. It. Where? Where? It's my imagination, but. It's just that, for a moment, it seemed to transform. Oh, don't ever scare me that way again. <laughs> it's not funny. Don't you dare smiley at me. Excuse me, but didn't something like this happen once before? <sighs> yeah. Oh, okay, I confess. I'm just a newbie that's trying to act big and tough, that's all. Go on, laugh at me if you want. <laughs> I want to ask you something. Now what? You're pissing me off. The reason I'm here is because I want to help Orca. Why are you here? Because... I come here to discover the cause, and I find you again. Explain! Explain my ass! You don't know anything! I already told him the other day. Huh? You did? Now that you know, what's the problem? Don't you understand what we're doing? I do understand. But you need to face facts. With you two involved, things get worse. 
That's how I see it. Am I wrong? Oh, I see Griffith is in this game. Man, I hate him. Maybe... Maybe he's just got his own reason when it's different from ours. Let's go on ahead. I noticed that they're already starting to do more storytelling moments than they did on the previous one. It's a dead end. I guess we can't go back there again. Huh. Excuse me, did you just watch 10 feet to get another cutscene? Yes. I want to slap somebody. You are the player that won the power-up campaign, right? We had found out that the item we gave you has a defect that won't let you install it. We will exchange the item with the Book of Absolute. Power-up campaign? What's that? I think it's sussy. Sucky book. The where in this game is Kitty Titty. Uh they haven't come up again yet. Is that menu a fucking JoJo's reference? No idea. <laughs> the world? <laughs> Is that a fucking JoJo? Man, JoJo's part six was so popular they made Florida into a real thing. I think she's talking about how she got fucked up. Thomas, they have the information to cure those in a coma. If you're interested, come to Soaring Sky Bounded Abyss. Waiting. Who is this? So we need to repair our uh,
It's going to prevent me from doing any partying for the time being, apparently. All right, yeah, we can't party. Mocha, we could just share the cake and call it, like, a not-party thing. Alright, I'm back. We'll call it a hoot nanny, not a party. I forgot to change over the game! Silly me. expecting that for the next little bit of time I'm going to basically be exposition dumped. Hey! Hey you! I got a suspicious email instructing me to come here. You get one too? There's a clue to curing. Those who went into comas. That? Yeah. Hold on a sec. That's weird. Look, I can't gate out. Oh, what was that sound? That's on purpose. I am Leos, the system administrator of the world. You have ignored our warnings and have gone too far. If the two of you hadn't interfered, then the situation would not have deteriorated. You not only did nothing about the coma victims, but you also tried to cover up that fact. What about your actions? Viruses that were spread by hackers caused a series of problems. If you want to blame someone, blame them. Are you saying that if I blame someone, those who are in comas will awake and return to normal? Then, okay, sure. I'll accuse them all you want. Kazu's still in the hospital. Bring him back. Bring him back to normal. Bring him back. We are currently investigating the relationship between the world and those who fell comatose. We are not twiddling our thumbs, I assure you. We are working on countermeasures. But aside from that, to take immediate action to prevent the situation from worsening, it requires that you delete your character. Delete it? Why? You should know that your character violates the software usage agreement. Installation of an illegal effect. You do know what I'm referring to. I will delete you now. Wait a moment. Helba! Leos. Do you want to be one of the lost ones as well? What? I wonder what would happen if the boy performed data drain. Right here and now. No way, I wouldn't do that. I know. Since you aren't stupid. The stupid one is this pig-headed man. You don't even understand how it works, yet you'll delete it before finding that out. Or, do you even possess the ability to delete it in the first place? 
The boy's character data is so well protected, the system administrator can't even crack it. In spite of the fact that you developed a vaccine and disguised it as a rare item, deleting those you cannot control is something that a pighead would do. <laughs> um, can I say something? I Papa. really don't care what happens to this character data. Hold on! Wait, what do you mean that you don't? It's true. Like I've said before, I simply want to help my friend. And that's all I want to do. Helba, system administrator. I need your advice. What should I do? I'm sorry, little boy. <laughs> but I don't have the answer to your question. And I'm positive that Pighead there doesn't either. <laughs> Although. Although? If the design of this world was based upon writings in the epitaph of Twilight, it should provide you a clue. Forget it. Leos. Yeah, what? The code name given to a system administrator. Were you remotely aware that it's the name of the King of Light that appears in the epitaph? It is? <laughs> Silencing is not the only means of control. Why don't you observe them for a little while longer? I won't take orders from you. Orders? No, I'm only offering it as a suggestion. The net is spread throughout the world. If the problems escalate, can you accept responsibility? It's your decision. Uh, the decision is put on hold. Later I'll tell you the outcome. Later, eh? <laughs> Till then. Epitaph of Twilight. We haven't got enough to go on so far. Um, about the thing earlier. No, forget it. Well, so long for today. So, why does my brain suddenly think that someone basically did something stupid, like used, uh, tried to base computer code after an, after an old spellbook? <laughs> little bugger. Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put a note in the freaking VOD that says you're naughty. And keeps trying to spook everyone. <laughs> Let's see. My brain just had a moment. Ugh. <laughs> I got a shiver. I fished. I just derped. I logged out of it so I could go and check the emails and see what story bits I got. And then I went back in. I'm a potato. My train of thought derailed. There were no survivors. Ooh. What kind of potato? I don't know. Graphics are pretty cool. New Bigfoot sighting. A biologist who recently flew to Oregon has announced the discovery of footprints belonging to the legendary creature. Scientists have launched an investigation to determine the validity of his claim, but locals remain skeptical of his findings. Ugh. <sighs> Somebody in the team was shit posting.
He will approve of your actions under one condition. You will now follow my orders from now on. Server 1, Delta. Server 2, Theta. Server 3, Lambda. Server 4, Sigma. Server 4, Server 5, Omega. The world is composed of five servers. Each server has a root town, and the areas can be forked to is different by the first letter of the keyword. Oh, hello there. Welcome in, Tato. We were just talking about potatoes. How's it going? Oh, that is a absolutely precious emote. I love it. Welcome in, Beans. How are you all today? It goes? Does it go up, down, sideways, backwards, or inside out? That's the question. Debuting a new model, you may. Oh, like for a VRM or something else? Uh, Overwatch. I see. YouTube. Oh. I actually ended up uh, practicing making VRMs on a stream a little while ago. It was pretty cool. I had a circle character I made in Space Station 13 that I put together in it. came out really well, too. I even decided to put it as a point redeem, too. And here's a little message for our lovely raiders. Welcome on in, everybody. Feel free to settle in. And we are continuing onward. We basically just got chewed out by the sysadmin for the, for the video game our character uh, is playing. And uh, basically he's decided not to try to delete us and make us be his lackey. For example, if you go to the area Delta bursting past over Aquafield, you must use the Chaos Gate in the root town to self serve. If you know the worlds other than Delta, you cannot go to that server. You cannot warp to the area even if you register. Server restrictions on all users have been lifted. You may now go to Alpha Server. Select other servers, Chaos Gate, go to Alpha, the, the Delta, Theta, and Alpha Server. Go to the Alpha server and obtain information for players in the root town. I will be investigating is the shop NPC. When you have gathered the information, talk to me. That is all. Apparently I have a part-time job. That's funky. We had swimming at PE, and it was amazed how many people couldn't swim. There are schools without swimming classes. You like chocolate? I love it! I can eat an entire bar just by myself, so I think I'm getting fat these days. You can eat a whole bar, and you're proud of that? Come on, I ate the whole damn damn chocolate bunny. Of course, I regretted it. <laughs> that was a bad idea, that Easter. <laughs> uh, never again. I like the crispy chicken. Chinese food and hot pots are my secret love. But I feel that it is a little different from love these days. What is love to you? Love? Jardinia. I like watching movies. Gardenia seems to be the kind of person who's just blunt force trauma as a person. Natsume. Natsume. Lord of the Rings. Do you know that the Lord of the Ring Rings is equal to the Hobbit?
So apparently the sysadmin wants us to be eyes and ears and talk to players. Warp to Alpha Server's root town, Cultural City Carmina Gadalica. Alpha opened again, so I'm going to level up like crazy. I play the game because I don't have much to do. But there's not much to do here either. I think it's time to log off. I think still have postcards to send to radio station. Emails are the norm, but I still like slate snail mail. Yeah, I actually watched that too, I believe. Wasn't it uh, the one from one of the, one of the speedrunners themselves made? I Karma. Carmina Gadalica reminds me of the set on set of Heaven's Gate that's on TV right now, where the main characters first appears in. Oh, you haven't seen it? The service finally open. And I don't have to go, it's exciting. You know what a figure is? Basically a doll. Especially the female ones. I think it's sexual harassment. Okay then. I got a new car the other day. It's European. Yay. But the wheel is on the right side. You're supposed to drive on the left, right? I heard they're going to open the servers besides Alpha. Hey, Diamond, you haven't paid me back the 3000 I lent you the other day. What? Not you? Not that the guy couldn't remember his name. Your personality is nothing but trading. Wow. Hey, you look kind of pale. Just kidding. It's the game. The baseball game went to the extra innings, so I missed the spaceship Supernova. Oh well, Hachiro had an eight, had a HR, so I guess it's okay. Oh, home run. I'm trying to learn English. I was watching sitcoms. I don't get what's so funny. Is it a cultural thing? Hey, can you check out my English accent? It's a pain. How that sound? Okay. Yeah, M. Karma did a really good thing of it. Protected areas are top priority. Protected area? 
areas that are officially undergoing maintenance. We have not yet found out what they are. However, we already know that your illegal powers can break that protection and that you need this for gate hacking. <gasps> this is nothing to be surprised about. This is the a successful abstraction of the virus incubating in the monster's data. The data codes to the protected area were on the board. Speedrunning is crazy. I saw a transparent girl too at Lambda Dolores Eyed Widow. I came up to her to talk and she shook her head and disappeared. Black Knight, you lied. That area is protected. I couldn't go. No either. It's like the theory that they, that protect area is open and you fulfill a requirement, like in the event. Here we could put up a new thread about it. Someone wrote on another site that there's a book that fragment based off of. But no. I wonder if there's an easier way to go through the game than show the book. I think it's the epitaph of Twilight. It was more of an epic poem rather than a novel. Author Waffle. How much of the game is based on it? I haven't seen Red in a while either. I'm sure we're being busy. The world is very deep. Duke Ukigamaru Show. The Nuke and Ukigamaru Show will be held at the dungeon of Lambda, Lightless Distant Deadlight. Call your friends and come by, but no jeering from the crowd, thank you. If you want to watch, come alone without a party. Trading convention. For those who want to join, Hey, we'll be tra trading convention on the B1 floor of collapsed pagan remains. People who can't find the items they're looking for or have problems trading, now's your chance. Instead of looking for it alone, let's just trade. Well... First of all, go to speedruns.com, Lysiris. You'll also need an actual copy and a PlayStation to play it. And trust me, copies of Solo to Robo don't come cheap, honey. 200 to 300 dollars, if I remember. God, I miss my old copy. I wish I had it still. Don't know where it went. Get the problem with the amount of space available. Okay, now I feel like swimming. It seems a new path is open. I'll send you information on virus cores again. Alpha and Theta monsters give you ABC. Lambda on level 30 and below. ABC. And the DEF from above 30 are exceptions. Quiet Oblivious Cabbage. What? Wow, the game just, just opened the door fucking wide. It blew the barn door open. Oh no.
on the box or poop, I'm on the snoop. No, see? Huh? Ever since that noise incident, Mia's input system is acting up. I you are at wheel get fixed. Event you ally eight knee way. Where are you going? Huh? Oh, to a protected area. The one that was on the board? Lambda Dolorous Evil Eyed Widow? I'm going to head there too. Well, Zen. Mia, I'll say it. Invite us when you're gonna go to Lambda, Dolorous Evil Eyed. We might find aromatic grass. Mia's intuition is usually. Mia taught you how to hack the gates, so she has a right to go, right? Uh. Because generally speaking, speedrunners are expected to use the specific hardware. You have to see whether or not the speedrun boards you want to actually go with allows emulation. Not all of them do. You gotta keep that in mind, Lysiris. Also, bear in mind, there's no uh, way to buy it on the PS1. Uh, on, the, on the PS3 or anything. You, I thought you said Tail Concerto. What? El Concerto was the original on PS1. Light Red Zigo. Mia is a glitch cat now. Eh, whatever. Hey, Masonic. How are you doing? Also, how are you gonna record your, um, speed runs without a capture card set up for the DS, huh? Oh, now they automatically go through all their buff spells. That's lovely. Thank fuck. This is a lean strand thingy. I can't understand a word that cat is saying. What the fuck? Wow. Ah, 
shit. Little shit. Gale out of the way. He's banned. I wonder what the noise was that they're referring to. Just me or the NPC is more effective now. There we go. Into the hole. Oh, cat, you can't have weed. Cat 
Oh, kitty crap. I've been having a lot of fun today, and the funny thing is, I wasn't even sure if I was going to today. Go figure. go. That's all dead. Rain Arc. That was cool. spell Pat, what are you doing will literally sit anywhere
go. Yeah, you're gonna hurt yourselves.
Elf got aromatic grass. Here you go, Mia. Wow, thanks. By the way, how do you use that? There's no use for it. We just collect it. Huh? You think it's futile? Ah, oh, but futility is a necessity. A system without futilities is very vulnerable. The key in opening a new gate is futility. Just because there's no use for it, is it futile? Sometimes the existence itself is enough. Hey, Mia! Oh? I guess it got fixed. Yeah! Congratulations! Though well, that was amusing in itself. Elk! <laughs> Ahmet! <laughs> oh, poor kitty. Ahmet. But I didn't see any girl like character. I guess I'll start again. Butterfly axe? Happy on that? Groovy stick. Ooh, I have a groovy stick. Oh, uh, hey. Oh, one rep. Too many Just socks.
Found a protected elephant as well. Anyone know of them who's maintenance? Probably can't go in, but it was... Terrible. Epitaph of Twilight. <coughs> Be popular these days, so I put up a new topic. Epitaph of Twilight is an online work that was on some novel-related popular in certain circles. But the site it was on bit the dust, so I couldn't gather information about it. Fragments of the text data got traded for a lot of money along diehard fans. But I just don't know if that's true. The entire thing is just filled with posts. There we have it. Been dreaming for a good little while now, so I think it's probably head brought to a close for the day. Go ahead and see if we can find some lovely beans ray, shall we? So let's go over a little bit of a review of what's happened so far since well, kinda all hell broke loose halfway through, didn't it? Uh, this is a long list. Holy. Alright, so there we go. We had a raid by Lotus Ruff. And tons of bits by T Foxer. Uh, along with uh, Ghost. And a shit ton of subscriptions by Niv. I'll get to that in a moment, Lucerus. Uh, 10 of those, 700 bits from Ghost, 2,000 from Niv, basically 20 subs from Niv total. So, we didn't exactly have a sub goal because I hadn't really thought of anything, but it sure got blown past, so I'm gonna have to come up with something. Um, it might be, end up being something like a 12-hour stream. So we'll have to go ahead and see what I can make of that and see how schedules pan out for it. Maybe we can do that this week. Don't know yet. We'll have to see how everything meshes up. That said, uh, everyone enjoy your subs. Thank you ever so much for, for throwing all of those bits and subs at me, guys. You really didn't have to, but I appreciate it. Let me see... And sleep well, Foxer. I'll be seeing ya. Now, who did you want to suggest, Lysiris? Keep in mind, if it's a big one, I'm probably not gonna go for it. And what are they playing? Uh, 
Alright, I'll bite this time. Never seen this bean. Alright, let's go scare the pants off 